There are six executives living in New Jersey who are multi-billionaires. In fact, based on average income, New Jersey is the third wealthiest state in the nation, and nearly a million people here live in poverty. That's according to recent census figures. Brian Venosi met some people who are trying to improve the prospects for people chasing the dream. Albert Kelly, mayor of Bridgeton, sees it every day. We're looking for jobs looking for decent paying jobs. His nonprofit social service organization serves about 56,000 low income residents in South Jersey. Residents desperately trying to pull out of or stay out of poverty. You have families that two family households, um, some of them have two jobs each so that they can actually maintain their rent, their utilities, being able to pay for food. Cumberland County has the highest poverty rate in New Jersey, nearly 20 percent. It hovers just above Passaic and Hudson counties at 18 and a half and nearly 18 percent respectively. That's according to new census data. And while some analysts are quick to point out these numbers have improved, they're still far above what they were 10 years ago pre-recession. In Cumberland County and and many other rural parts of the state where poverty levels are highest, poor public transit options make it difficult to attract those new employers and for folks here to keep those jobs. The largest employer in Cumberland County, I believe, is the hospital system. Um, school districts um, are probably right behind that. Uh, so when you're looking to find a job um, that does not require a bachelor's degree or master's degree, uh, there's not a lot there in Cumberland County for families to apply for. That's indicative of a larger statewide problem, says the executive director of the Anti-Poverty Network of New Jersey, Serena Rice. Unemployment is dropping and median income in the state is dropping. Poverty is not dropping and that means that the lowest wage workers are not seeing the benefit of this supposed economic recovery. Census data shows poverty levels did drop slightly between 2013 and 14, moving from 11.4 to 11.1. There's still roughly 1 million residents living below the line. When we invest in programs like the Earned Income Tax Credit, like food assistance, like housing assistance, even though those programs are primarily benefiting those at the bottom of the economic spectrum, they're really benefiting our whole society and bringing us all up. Most alarming, say analysts with New Jersey policy perspective, more seniors age 65 and older are aging into poverty. What the data really shows is that this is a state that's kind of stuck. And until you know, our leaders start thinking about um, you know, issues and ideas that are beyond just your typical tax cuts and tax breaks for corporations, we're really going to continue to be stuck. And they're seeing more people with higher levels of education working lower paying jobs than ever before. For NJTV News, I'm Brianna Venosi.